This one's going to be Skins versus FMB Most Wanted, a.k.a. Ish. Now, Skins, he has come onto the scene this year, made a name for himself. He was in that Washington Redskins Club Series, ultimately goes mad and won that. But since then, he's been playing quite a bit in our Friday Night Football, and he's become one of the staples, one of our best competitors in our field week in and week out. Yeah, we're already jumping straight into the action here. Like we said, we're, we were on a fourth and six. And something that we mentioned last night with the community guys, uh, I don't think we're going to see many punt, punt formations this evening. Not many uh, field goal formations this evening. A lot of two-point conversions are going to be had. A lot of going forward on fourth. And there is the first uh, fourth down of the night. Not converted. First and 10 on the 29 for our guy, Skins. Yeah, last night we saw a fake punt pass for a first first down and you Impressive. you were talking about competitive players not doing that and I said yeah well you know most of the time when you want to go for it the comp guys leave their offense on the field speaking of offenses this skins bunch tight end offense has been dynamite through our tournaments he's got a phenomenal record a phenomenal resume he's going to hit that crossing round now it's going to go incomplete skins 16 and 5 in five total appearances good for a 7d6 win percentage that is third amongst all competitors in friday night football history looks like lamar jackson at the helm here for skins correct me if i'm wrong which is one of the most dynamic quarterbacks in the ultimate team with the sp uh, speed and the size and the rocket arm to be able to get the job done i've seen a lot of people rush for a few hundred yards with lamar jackson out there so that could be a danger tonight uh so far though laying down a pretty just healthy medium game here on the other side of the ball you've got ish aka most wanted from FNB. This is his Friday Night Football debut, so he's coming in with that 0-0 record, and he's got a tough draw. This is not somebody you want to go up against in your first ever appearance in these tournaments because Skins has been battle-tested over the last couple months. And uh, you see right here, Lamar Jackson back to pass. Playmakers up the field. That's going to be Tyreek the Freak Hill inside the 10, down to the 7, first and goal coming up for Skins. Tyreek dominated the head-to-head -head scene there for a long time in MCS with the emergence of a lot of other players with that speed. That's the true reason they wanted him, obviously, is that speed at receiver. A lot of other very speedy receivers out there, so we're seeing a lot of more Randy Moss, a lot more T.Y. Hilton, a lot more Jerry Rice on the field. But Hill was the king of competitive uh, Madden for the first part of the year. Not only that big-time speed, but early in the year, he's making a lot of catches in traffic, and that's why you're seeing a lot of players sticking with him. Here's Leonard Fournette up the middle. It's going to be a gain of two, setting up a third down and goal from the two. 3-3-5 three, three, defense here from Ish. You're going to see a lot of that tonight in this Friday Night Football. Again, guys, Friday Night Football 15 sponsored by Grubhub. Special edition with KFC tonight. We're going to have that tailgate food being delivered to the desk here shortly. We'll see what Skins is coming out with here. You can always use that touchdown code as well for Grubhub discount. We're coming out here in goal line defense, two-yard line. Skins looking to pun uh, punch it in here in the I form. And he's going to toss it out to a clear right side of the field. And Adrian Peterson will walk in for six. You saw right there, Ish did not baseline his defense. His edge player did not keep that contain. And it was an easy walk-in touchdown. Leonard Fournette. Big time touchdown, and the extra point is up and through. So we are off with a bang here. Skins looking like he normally does in Friday Night Football. We'll keep you updated with scores from around the bracket all night long. Got a lot of good first round matchups. Yeah, Ish probably hoping, uh, wishing he had that fourth down conversion back. He set skins up with some pretty awesome field position there, and it was easy for him to move those additional yards in to get the seven points. Go up by seven here. Uh, kickoff back to Ish, and he's taken position here on the 25 yard line. Other first round matchups that you might be wanting to look in at today, if you guys are a little bit late to the show, we got Young Kiv tonight against Drag McKinley status versus Pavan and Skimbo versus. Is Vilma, and the best part, those are just the first three games I on can't, the bracket. Um, my mind is absolutely blown. There's some uh, great talent out here on Ish's squad. He's running Michael Vick, Leonard Fournette. I think I saw Jerry Rice out there over on the corner. Terrell Owens, Randy Moss, and Julio Jones, that MVP Julio Jones, an absolute monster out there on the corner. Bomb, thanks for that follow, or that uh, sub. 
A lot of you guys out there subbing. We appreciate the continued support here. Remember, guys, every sub, this is going straight back into the community. It helps us put on these events week in and week out for you. Uh, we could deal with those Viking horns, I guess. Uh, I, I'm telling you, they uh, it's a you know it's a good and bad. It's a double edged sword. We're getting the subs, but uh, that uh, we either need to get rid of the horn or get an actual <laughs> horn on the desk here and do a manual horn blow every single time we get a sub. I think that would be the move. I as think long Rockets as I don't have to that. skull, I'm okay with it. <laughs> As a you, Bears fan, I can't do that. Don't worry. You got all the skull you needed last night. You gave one from me, and that was it. So don't worry. That's not coming anymore here. Uh, another fourth and 13 here for Skins. Going for it deep in his own territory. He's got a man wide open down the field. That's that Julio Jones that we're talking about. Not only gets the first down, but heads into Skins' side of the field on the 44-yard line. Great route combination right there by Ish on fourth down. You saw that Skins did not have a defender in that zone coverage out there on the sideline little streak corner action to the wide side of the field. One of the tougher route combinations to defend in competitive Madden. Uh, you, there you see on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, use that touchdown code for $10 off your first order of $15 or more from Grubhub. Guys, remember KFC out there as well tonight on Grubhub. You're going to be getting yourself those cinnamon buns with any order you get from Grubhub and KFC. I, I'm starving. All I can think about right now is extra crispy chicken and good Madden. It's on the way. Hold your horses. All right. All right. You might have to hold <laughs> me back when it gets here if you guys order kfc tonight make sure you guys snap a picture of that and send us a tweet you can send a tweet to at mutt guru or zan at zan underscore 4 p.m make sure you guys show the stream in the background we'll try to get you featured on tonight's stream maybe some other giveaways on the way other names in action tonight in our absolutely jam-packed friday night football serious mo justin aka formerly known as dad yogurt lurk we've got clef our returning champion Master Gamer, Joe Rice, Kratobin, Turbo Jeff, Crush, Canes, T-Ski, VTech, Fancy, Shakobi. Prime Times oh, yeah, everywhere. Jaybird, Frank Dante, uh, Turbo Jeff. I mean, yeah, we're just starting here. Master Gamer is also here. I just noticed is in, in the mix here as well. So uh, certainly looking forward to his matchup versus Joe Rice as well. Right now, we're hot and heavy with Ish and Skins. Just ending up the first quarter. Uh, Skins has been able to get on the board first, and we've had now... Ooh, two missed fourth down conversions from Ish to give Skins back the ball here now on his own 38-yard line. Tell you what, Skins is looking really good here on defense. That's been something he's been very consistent at. This bunch tight end, not as explosive as some of the other bunches you'll see in the community. He does a really good job of taking what's given to him and playing that stout defense, as you've seen, giving Ish a lot of trouble been throwing into some tight windows here in the first quarter. Hey guys, another just big shout out to the chat who is absolutely going off with the support tonight. As always, thank you guys so much. We got 330 in the chat as well tonight supporting the uh, the Ohio crew out there. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, Kenny's in the chat here. Spiral Matrix in the chat. Uh, Baldhead uh, is in the in the chat as well. Uh, DK Duffy is also in the chat. Has had some nice things to say as well, guys. Thank you so much for the support and coming out tonight. We got a lot of great games for you here. We got a lot of great grub for you here as well. Uh, right now we got skins up seven to zero, just wrapping up the first quarter of our first game here on Friday Night Football. A lot of mutt head sub badges in the chat. Just a reminder, guys, if you guys have Amazon Prime, that means you have Twitch Prime. Link your Twitch account to your Amazon account. That'll give you one free sub that you can give to any content creator on Twitch once every 30 days. Does not have to be us. We're not begging for your sub, but as long as you enjoy somebody on Twitch, make sure you guys are taking advantage of that sub. I mean, I enjoy Zan on Twitch. I'll probably go and use that sub on Zan. Just saying. Twitch.tv slash O Zan O. I don't, I don't Shameless plug, promotion. I don't plug very often. You guys, can, you guys can follow me on Twitch. Hey, uh, we got our guy out there. Um, uh, big vein, uh, huge vein. Surgery went well yesterday. I know we wished you well on the broadcast as, uh, yesterday. It went well. He's back in the chat. Be sure you give our guy, Mr. Huge Vein, some love as well here tonight. All the subs coming in. Appreciate the sub there from Ace Diamond. Oh. We have a big turnover right here. That's Antoine Bethea down the sideline. Yo, Ish really needed that turnover. He's he's turned over the ball two times on fourth down right now. Needed to catch a break. Uh, here he catches it right at the beginning of the second quarter. Big interception. He he needs this drive right here. He's come away empty on his first two drives of the ball game. Skin's going to have the ball at halftime. This is the time right here for Ish to try to get back into this ball game. It may be seven points, but it's a lot more when you don't have the ball at halftime. 
Going to go underneath. That is a tight window again here. A lot of the underneath stuff not there right now for Ish. So these windows are closing. Already noticing windows closing much faster than last night's competition here. These guys are all over each other in the secondary as far as uh, pat and covering the pass. It's step for step right now in the pass coverage. And last night, Hercules took home our PlayStation 4 Head Ooh. Community Championship and pocketed $1,000. If you guys want to try to compete in competitive Madden esports with Mutthead, hit exclamation point compete in the chat. Follow the link that pops up and submit that application. We go through a meeting every single week. Guru was here for that meeting today. He can attest to it. We review all the applications that come through. Yeah, it's really cool. Literally go name by name with the review. Hey, Julio Jones into the end zone there for Ish. That MVP, Julio Jones, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of him tonight. That is his second big play, and it's good to see Ish on the board. All knotted up now, 7 to second, very early in the second quarter. All right. <gasps> Spicy tuna roll. Nice. California roll? Sushi. I'll take it. Delivering from over 95,000 restaurants nationwide. If you want it all, you can get it all. Grubhub. Restaurants you love delivered. I wish you guys could see Guru to the right of me as he was... <laughs> Singing that right there. I was lip singing along with the com uh, the commercial. I, we know all the words now for that commercial. We've heard it so many times. But go out there and grab some Grubhub, guys. We could not do this without your support and without Grubhub support. It's actually your support and your support for Grubhub as well is actually supporting us. So get out there. Use that promo code TOUCHDOWN for $10 off your first order of $15 or more. Of course, we're having the KFC tailgate tonight. So some buckets of sweet, sweet Kentucky. Kentucky Fried Chicken are going to be here very soon. Again, if you guys won those giveaways out there, be sure to pop a picture and send it to Zan, Rockets, or I, and show us your tailgating along with us tonight. We'll try and get you on stream. Got some score updates for you. I believe we got Skimbo up 7-0 on Vilma. That is a very good matchup here in our first round. Skimbo, of course, everybody calls the new GOAT, the MCS three-time belt winner. Vilma is a player that many of you probably don't know, but he has been cleaning up out there on the East Coast in those Compete Forever tournaments run by Coach K. Shouts to one of my longtime friends in the community, Coach K. Uh, he's been out there cleaning those up. Uh, very good matchup there as we have a sub coming in from Ohio. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, he's a top-tier player who's still trying to make his first MCS live event, but we're going to have him here tonight. Uh, had a strong showing at this year's Madden Classic that was open to everybody, and he's also part of Need It Gaming out there. Need a game, of course. You've got Skimbo, Dubby, Boogs, Vilma, and Clef. Clef was a new addition later in the year. Uh, we talked about giveaways. We're giving away a lot tonight. Yep. Some of the Mutt giveaways that we're having tonight, Levante David, positional hero, Geno Atkins, Kevin Zeitler, and then, of course, the two Ultimate Legends. <laughs> and there is a solid group of giveaways there, not only with the Grub and the KFC, but we're going to try and add some position heroes and Ultimate Legends to your squad. A uh, B. Grega. Shout out to the wife out there, Anna. She says that I won't shout her out. Well, there you go. It happened. Drops Mike. Called the bluff. Drops Mike. Calls the bluff. Kenny in the chat says if he wins Zeitler, he's giving it to you for your theme team. Oh, oh, oh Kenny, that's so nice of you, man. No, for, for real, my plans tomorrow, hop off the plane, drive home, and add Zeitler to the Browns. Theme team, oh my gosh, we almost had the first huge play of the game there, sailing right over the head of Skins receiver there, out of bounds, literally missed that pass by about a yard and a half. Fourth and three, kind of going deep into the playbook for a deep, play, uh, deep throw there. Now let's see what he's going to do with three yards left. To go. He had Leonard Fournette on the wheel route, just didn't match the catch animation. Looked like he was wide open in that window there, cover two. Big fourth down and three. An opportunity for Ish, who's been not really dictating the pace of this game. He's got an opportunity to take a little control right here. Yeah, going into halftime, I'm not sure who's going to get the ball after the half. Zan, did you notice who that was going to be? I think that's going to... Uh, Skins is going to have the ball half after the turnover, that first turnover by Ish. Okay, so Skins going to definitely want to manage the clock here, take a nice slow roll down the field, uh, score as they go into the second half, and then get the ball back out of at, at kickoff there. So TK, the MVP, he's gifted 18 subs. I believe he was at six last night, so he's gifted 12 subs in the last 24 hours. This one to Jersey Boy. Thank you so much, TK, for the continued support week in and week out. You're one of our MVP viewers. You guys are all MVPs in the chat, making this possible week in and week out here on Mutthead TV.
super cool to be handing out those uh, subs to everybody out there here. TK, like you say, one of the one of the good guys out there in the community. Speaking of good guys in the community, I want to shout out my guy Slammer, who was in the community um, community bracket yesterday. Didn't didn't fell a little short of moving on, but definitely it takes a lot of moxie to get out there, get in the bracket, put yourself out in the public, get your uh, get your game shout casted, and all for a thousand dollars. So big shout out to entering, and there was a really nice pitch and catch, Zan. So right there, Kenny Galladay on the crossing route. Looks like he had Rod Woodson in his hip pocket, but a perfect throw by Lamar Jackson moves the chains. Now down inside the 30 to the 25, and here's Fournette up the middle rumbling a little bit. He's going to pick up a gain of six. Yeah, Fournette, really great in Ultimate Team. He's got a uh, really uh, nice stack of items out there. In the NFL, though, uh, what's going to happen to Mr. Leonard Fournette? We got Jacksonville changing up their backfield to there a little bit. Not sure how many carries he's going to get in uh, the coming year. He's got to stay healthy. The talent is unquestioned. He's just got to stay healthy. That's been his issue so far. Going quick to that flat right there. Tyree's going to haul that in, but the spot's going to be short. Third down and one coming up. We are on salary cap. I've seen a couple questions in the chat asking what game mode this is. Xbox One salary cap. If you guys think you have the chops to compete in Mutthead, exclamation point, compete. Fill out that application. Watch Kittle coming here. Oh, nice uh, squeeze through the middle. Wasn't able to pick up the first down, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, fell a little short. He's going to come out in field goal formation. See what happens. Now, I'm going to say right there, a lot of players say you had two guys open. That is probably a design call right there by Skins, trying to set up the route combination to kind of move the user out of the middle of the field. Right there, what happens? the D tackle collapsed, got that block shed before he was able to get past. But that looked like a design scramble. I've seen Skins do that a few times in our Friday Night Football tournaments before. Yeah, and I think he was really trying to wind that clock down a little bit more, knowing that he was going to get the ball coming out of the half. But now we have Ish with a full minute and 25 seconds which is an eternity in madden he's got himself one time out over there uh, let's see if he can run the two minute drill and put some points on the board before going to half looks like he's in the tampa bay book as evidenced by the play call he's in right there clear out s se option the se standing for the split end and that's that player that is on the line of scrimmage running that option hitch you saw right there he threw the hitch and it's going to put him at second down and one yeah, Moss going up to get it like somebody was there trying to get him, too. But he, he mossed no one, but he came down and got the ball there. One of our favorite uh, items in Ultimate Team. He's got a wide open receiver. Not wide open, but open receiver and Randy Moss down the field there for a really nice catch on the sidelines. We were just talking about that, Randy Moss, with the ability to go up. And, I mean, your cornerback's going to get mossed. That's why they call it Moss. And the thing that you're looking at right now is in a close ball game inside the two-minute warnings, clutch rating matters so much. That clutch trait, Randy Moss obviously has that. And you see him making multiple catches in traffic here for Ish. Uh, Ish doing a really good job of, of working the pocket with Michael Vick. There's not a lot of pressure coming his way here over the past couple quarters. Uh, but he's taking his time. Uh, he's backpedaling. He's changing his shoulders. He's setting his shoulders maybe a few times there looking for the uh, open man down the field. But has been very patient and thrown it away when he needs to. Look for T.O. here. He's going to go to that corner route, and that's exactly what he Ooh. wanted. The high point one-handed. Madden 08 spec catch animation. <sighs> going that's going to be up. a first down here for Terrell Owens. Looks like we're seeing skins, maybe taking a look at some of the skill position players. No, actually, we're making some adjustments. This is from Ish's point of view. Uh, switching some players out. I think this is what he's doing. He's trying to set up the right goal line package here. <coughs> Maybe get that tight end in as a potential ball carrier. Yeah, the uh, that combo he's got out there between Moss and T.O. is a classic one in Ultimate Team. You always end up with those guys on your corner. Uh, Terrell Owens, recently out in Ultimate Team, has become one of the more dominant receivers in Ultimate Team. You're seeing more of him next to Moss, next to Rice. He, of course, was the digital cover boy for Madden Ultimate Team 19 and is is another force to be reckoned with out there late season ultimate team. Where do you rank Terrell Owens in your all time wide receiver list? I mean, I don't know about top five. You know, I think I think that's anywhere past top five. We can we can talk about sliding him in there, but uh, you know, I think he's got the the he's got the numbers is the thing that kills me. Right, he doesn't have the rings. Um, he doesn't have the locker room attitude that I might put him in a top three receiver position he didn't show up at the hall of fame induction we can get into that politics all day long uh but i'm with some of the sports writers of that taking him out of the the top wow what, what a spin there what an animation there he went through the truck broke off the tackle spun and hit another air truck into the end zone for a touchdown good defense right there by skins just even 
more determination from Leonard Fournette. Yeah, just a great timing spin there in the mix, in the traffic, between the holes, and is able to squeak through uh, for that short touchdown run right before the half. Imperative points from Ish. We talked about Skins running that clock and going in with a lead, just not able to hold on to the ball, and Ish is able to drive all the way down to the fields and get those points that we were talking about before we go into the locker room here in 18 seconds. Tale of two Ishes so far in this one. He did not look good on his first two drives, but but ever since that second turnover on downs, he's been a different player. 14 points here and now. Skins, he does have ball at half. He's got an opportunity to make a big play, potentially get himself a game tying or a field goal to put him down one before half. He's got himself one time out here. If he can get halfway down the field with this play, get out of bounds. Might have had another chance for inside striking distance on the other side of the 50. Does not get that one. It looked like he had his man open. Lamar Jackson just a little bit inaccurate there with that deep pass. Second down and 10 here for Skins. Big nickel over G defense for Ish. You see he's running that spy running that in the spy. middle of the field, yep. respecting that Lamar Jackson scramble ability. And uh, he got, it looks like he sent the spy there. This is up for grabs. No, oh, this wow. can be caught. Kenny Galladay. And he's going to get the timeout. And he got the timeout. I was wondering. I'm sitting here waiting with bated breath to see if he got the timeout in there. This uh, you know, this could be three points here. We are in salary cap, though, so I'm not Short, sure what kicker's out there. Yeah, unless he's spending the major cap. I mean, this would be 65. Uh, you would yeah, need he's not wind he's and a 99 in. overall kicker. So we're going to have one more chuck to the end zone right here. Yeah, like you said yesterday, while we're playing unlimited, some of those big leg kickers are out there. But a lot of guys in salary cap don't use that cap space on a good kicker. Why you see a lot of people going for it, why you see... Uh, a lot of situations like this where he's just kind of going to try and chuck it up with a couple seconds left and a little little bait and switch right there by Lamar Jackson uh, setting his shoulders to throw the ball a little pump fake and takes off with it yeah it looked like he wanted to set his feet maybe chuck it down the field but set his feet a little bit too far past the line of scrimmage and it turned him into a runner right there Fortunately for him, he didn't fumble, as that would have been the only player that had the speed to chase down whoever would have recovered the fumble because it was Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Yep. But he does have the ball to open the second half. Yeah, we had Deion Sanders back there to catch the catch the uh, return. Goes out the back of the end zone, obviously, and we are now starting on the 25-yard line. Skins with the ball here. We got Leonard Fournette, Galladay, Moss, and Hill in the skill positions, and second half kicking off right now. Lamar Jackson back to pass. Good coverage here by Ish. He's really settling in right now. I see, and that's going to be a illegal forward pass. You're seeing he's flustering Skins right now. He is skin, uh, Skins doesn't look nearly as comfortable in the pocket as Ish does with Michael Vick back there. Uh, like you said, a little flustered maybe on the side of Skins right now. <laughs> Patriot RB in the chat wants to know if I've watched Top Gun yet. He's literally no. been asking all night, too. I was waiting for a break to ask you if you grabbed the <laughs> DVD last night. I have not watched Top Gun yet. It is on my list when I get off the plane tomorrow. I was ready to come out here and, oh, my Lord, what a pass downfield, taking it all the way to the 45-yard line. Skin makes up for some lost time there with that Lamar Jackson throw. Dot on the sidelines. And the man with the plan in the chat our Discord Rockets pulling the strings behind the scenes says, let's do a $20 Grubhub gift card giveaway. You said it. Let's go ahead and do it. Enter the code Grubhub. I believe that's not case sensitive. Correct me if I'm wrong, Rockets. Grubhub in the chat will roll a giveaway for you guys. Just type Grubhub to enter. And all you have to do is be active. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't More get Grub, yourself, the better. Don't get yourself banned. That's, that's one way to not win a giveaway. Uh, it's not case sensitive as he types in lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase. I see what you did there, Rockets. <laughs> Lamar back to pass here. Big pocket going to go down the middle between the safeties, and that's going to be a first down down to the two. Randy Moss. Skins might have heard us, man. He might have heard us over here. He might have taken exception to the, we say, and he's getting a little bit flustered because literally ever since we've said that, he's been on point with the rest of his drive here. He's now got first and goal on the two-yard line, and he's got the personnel to punch it in back there. Let's see if he can pull it off. First down and goal here for Skins. Now, this time you saw Ish. He moved that edge defender out a couple steps, trying to set that edge a little bit better, but it's going to be up the middle. Play after my own heart there. The fullback dive, uh, we, had a, we had plenty in the box to fill in the gaps there, and no dice. I believe he even lost a little bit of yardage on that one. Got Potentially three more cracks at it right here. Probably four down territory being down by four. If it were a field goal game, he would probably kick it in a fourth down scenario. But I'm thinking he's going to go ahead and take as many shots at the end zone as possible. Here's Fournette. Nice spin move. And there's Dion. Doesn't have that tackle rating. 
misses that tackle. If it were in the clutch situation late in the fourth quarter, you'd probably see that solo tackle. It is AP, though. Let's talk real life for a minute. Deion Sanders versus AP. <laughs> is there any trait that's going to save Deion Sanders right uh, there? Does that trait involve leaving the field and getting someone who can tackle on the field? <laughs> oh, man. AP, an absolute monster back in his heyday. Had a great season last year, as a matter of fact. Enough to earn some great items in Ultimate Team, including a late game Team of the Week item there as well. It's good to see him still balling out over there. So now Ish in this back-and-forth affair has an opportunity to drive down. He's had two drives back-to-back. -back, pretty solid. Dove Love, thank you for the sub. That's TK with another gifted sub, my friend. TK out there just working the chat tonight. Thank you, dude, so much. Your support and your support for the community, absolutely outstanding. And, you know, basically an example out there. So thank you so much for that. A lot of our usuals in the chat. Shout-outs to Buffalo K. If you guys are looking for advice in the Madden season. Level-headed advice? Absolutely. That's we guy. have a skinny post, and that's Julio breaking a tackle. And this is starting to get up tempo right now between these two. We picked a great game here to kick off Friday football number 15. Julio is showing up for this game. A lot of people out there uh, clamoring for a position here out Julio to finish up the Mutt 19 year. We'll see if he gets an upgrade, but this MVP certainly dynamic. Certainly. Wow. What a pass to Randy Moss. Goes up and get it. We were talking about a Moss. My guy. Oh, wait. T.O. That was T.O. Oh, my Lord. T.O. He said that he's doing his best Moss. Five. He said, I'm not top five. Yeah, he took, a, he took exception to that. He's like, oh, you see Moss go up a Moss? Let me see. Let me show you a little what I got here. Somebody in the chat, Steve, says these guys catch everything. Now, that is the name of the game in salary cap. You're given a salary cap that you must stay under. A lot of players take what is called the stars and scrubs approach. For those that play daily fantasy sports, whether it's football or baseball, know exactly what I'm talking about. You spend the big cap on your skill position players, quarterbacks, corners, wide receivers, tight ends, running backs. You spend less but get value at positions like offensive line. You might spend uh, you know, budget on linebackers, speed guys, but the majority of your cap's going at those wide receivers, and that's why you see these guys dominating down the field. Uh, Pony Montana joining the chat there. Shout out to my guy. What's up? Thanks for coming out and checking us out tonight. Chat's on fire. Absolutely on crazy. Like, crazy like it is every single time. Uh, T-Bomb claimed his prize. So congratulations out there uh, for some KFC. My mouth is watering right now. My stomach is growling. We've got some great football action here right now. But chicken is foremost on my mind. <laughs> You've got to wait until the break and then it'll be here. I can't wait. We're going to have that bucket right here in between. Usually we have the food on display. It's going to be so much more difficult this week to not pick at it as we're casting these events. Guys, giveaways, giveaways, giveaways. Let's talk some giveaways tonight. Here is our giveaway list. Interception here by Night Train Lane. Sorry to interrupt. No Just had a big turnover there, and that's him back down the sideline. And, oh, now we've got Ish with full control of this ball game. But Night. giveaways. No, I mean, let's, let's talk about that play here for a little, just for a second longer. Night Train Lane, one of the quintessential cornerbacks in all of Ultimate Team. One of those guys that, you know, that younger generations may not have known about unless he was in Ultimate Team. A big man coverage, zone coverage, and hard-hitting cornerback going up and getting the interception. We've got Ish. Woo, going down with a sack there on first down by Khalil Mack. But... Back in control, back in possession of the ball, and driving here late in the third quarter. Now, let's talk some giveaways. Tonight's mud giveaway list is Levante David, Gino Atkins, Kevin Zeitler, Howie Long, and Barry Sanders. Of course, those that Howie Long and Barry Sanders revealed tonight on Mudhead on stream in front of your very eyes. So we're going to give away each one of those to a lucky winner tonight. And then, of course... You know, we got to come in at the end with the big kahuna, my friend. That'll be a Twitter giveaway tonight. Make sure you guys have a Twitter account. You don't have to post a ton on Twitter. Just have an account. doesn't have to have an avatar. We'll be selecting a winner off of Twitter at the end of the show. So make sure that you guys have an account. So that's the kahuna, right? We're doing Our the big kahuna. kahuna. Okay, so let's do this. Now, for the chat right now, we're going to be doing the Levante David positional hero. Be sure to be active in chat. Following the channel, I hope at the top of the broadcast, you followed instructions, went up and hit that follow button. Nothing worse, at least for me. I don't know. Some people like this whole reroll thing. The savages that sit around me love this whole reroll thing. But guys, I love the first winner to score that giveaway. Go up and make sure you follow uh, the channel, be active in chat, and be a positive force for good. F Josh7011, thank you for the sub. We have a pass to the end zone broken up. That was T.O. He's had a big ball game, unable to hold on to that one there. Yeah, so FSU football, uh, foosball, thank you for that sub as well. T.O., a bigger body receiver than Moss. Now, not tall, 
right? Uh, Moss is much more slight than T.O. He's got the ability to go up and force that body between him and his uh, cornerback there and come up with some certain catches that I even see Moss not coming out with as well. i got to get that Owens for my team. I haven't added him to the squad yet, uh, but it's definitely something I'm going after. Wow! Dropped that it in the bucket right absolute there. Absolute laser to Shannon Sharp for the touchdown. We got our JCE 1410 with that sub. Welcome to the squad, man. That Shannon Sharp, one of the best tight ends in, a, in Ultimate Team. He's got the speed. He's got the size. He's got the blocking. And then, that, like I said, that speed to run down the seam and catch that one right over the shoulder. Heck of a throw by Ish on that one. Now, I'll say this. I think that the play before where he went to the corner route, you saw that basically that seam opened up because you saw the coverage and most of that focus towards the same route that he had thrown the play before. Unfortunately, it wasn't the same route combination, and Shannon, wide open down the seam, had a guy you know within five yards, but not close enough to break up that pass. I still have nightmares of Madden Ultimate Team 12 and two-star Shannon Sharp. If you guys remember two-star Shannon Sharp and Ultimate Team, throw me a one in the chat. He came out at launch, a 99 overall two-star Shannon Sharp, and was absolutely dominant until the end of the season. This Shannon Sharp at the end of Madden Ultimate Team 19 reminding me very very, very much of that two-star Shannon Sharp. Guys, we've got a winner. It's so great to see all these uh, familiar names in the chat tonight and also winning some of these great prizes coming your way. Squirrely Kid is our winner for the Levante David Squirrely. I've seen him all around Twitch, whether it's my streams, whether it's MDD, or whether it's here at Mudhead, always supporting the stream. So thank you very much. A little give back for you, my friend. Got a couple games that have gone final here in Friday Night Football, number 15. The underrated King, our Atlanta Falcons Club Series champion, 13 to 0 over Saya. We have Clef over COA Robs. That was wow. a newcomer, one of our uh, yep. one of our applicants that tried to get in. Uh, Clef with the big victory. Moving on to the second round, TNC Fancy 21 to 3 over VTech and Shakobi 17 0 over Nick Hacko. We'll have more scores as they get updated. We're just getting big started goose. here. Give him the big goose egg there. Shakobi shutting out Nick Harco. Uh, looking for his opponent now between Jay Bird and Frank Dante. We'll have results for you as soon as we get them. But right now in the Ish Skins game, we've got Skins with the ball to begin the fourth quarter. Uh, he's scrambling around back there with Lamar Jackson, trying to find time, trying to find his open receiver. Scrambles left and gets rid of the ball with no one open downfield. Now, looking at Skin's record here, uh, we're, we're taking a look at his win percentage. One of our highest win percentages overall in competitive Madden here in our Friday night football esports. However, his record versus the other top 20 win percentages in Friday night football is only 37 and a half. Now, this is Ish's first foray into Friday night football. He's looking like he is potentially a top 20 level player in our bracket and in, in our field as a whole. And our field has had well over 100 units unique players yeah it's it's really great to see those that support and the you know just basically everybody getting into this and rallying around uh the mudhead tournaments here we had that last play with looked much the same as the play before with lamar jackson scrambling to his left with plenty of pressure coming and throwing it out of bounds third and ten now and it's a uh, very Oh, my gosh. I was just about to talk about Ish's pressure that he has been bringing. Brings Bethea up from the safety position for the sack. Bethea now has one sack and one interception, and that interception was probably the one that turned the tides for Ish in this game, if you guys remember. That big interception there, middle of the second quarter, it's been all Ish ever since. Uh, looking looking forward down the bracket here, we had Clef uh, take out Robs, and he's going to face either Joe Rice or Matster Gamer. Clef was this year's Tampa Bay Bucks club champion uh, and he's considered as one of the the best up and coming players in the world so seeing who he gets in that matchup and what he does in the next game I'm, I'm very excited to see that he came out of that game 31 to 3 so he certainly dominated his first matchup absolutely decimated robs in his first matchup here in friday night football Best of luck to Robs going forward. Yeah, that's that's a tough draw uh, for Robs to come in and face the defending Friday Night Football champion. Yeah, Clef, he's he's from a football family, though. He's a former football player himself. His dad is a football co uh, coach down in Deland, Florida. So the guy lives, breathes, drinks, and eats football. He also streams regularly. Uh, his community is called the Church of Madden. Love it. One of the better players. And, yeah, it's always great to see his family supporting. There's a lot of players out there with uh, great family support. You know, we've talked about, obviously, Sirius Mo with his uh, with his family. 
big time supporters of him. Uh, little man and his grandfather. We saw him at the most recent. Uh, sure did. Yep. The Madden Bowl, uh, the passing of his grandfather recently. It was uh, he was playing with a heavy heart and. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great stories out there of families that support. Uh, got some score updates. Probably wanted to know what Young Kib is doing right now. 21-10 over Drag, and that game is just now hitting half as Drag kicks a field goal. It's now 21-13 with two seconds to go in the first half. Yeah, I'm uh, interested to see who comes out of, of that one. Obviously, uh, they're going to be going up against either Pavan or McKinley uh, in that second round. Lot of great football on the way. We see right here, it's just Ish trying to grind this clock away, currently up 11. More important to him than the touchdown right here is burning a little bit of time, making Skins start using those timeouts. Yeah, we're uh, we're clicking away here. The clock's uh, going down, but we have both players with all three timeouts. Let's see if they can use them to their advantage. We've got Ish uh, threatening again here, just, in, just outside of the 15-yard line. Uh, he's got Fournette in the backfield, Jones, Owens, and Moss split out to the left. Another score update for you. We talked about the top of our bracket is Fournette with no gain. Young Kibbs winning. We've also got Pavan winning. He's up 24-17 late in the third quarter. McKinley down, uh, and he's on defense right now. So Pavan trying to take a two-score lead. Oh, we got Vic dropping back again here for Ish and a nice little pass over the middle to Owens for the high point catch. Doesn't come down with it after a hard hit from the safety back there. Not sure who. Uh, 31 Jones. Jones. Uh, Rashad Jones, possibly? Who do you think that is back there? Probably the speedy Joshua Jones. Okay. Uh, one okay. of the budget items we talked about. You, you, you pay a lot for your speed, typically, at corner. If you're not spinning the big cap, you're just looking at speed, and that's one of the better items. Uh, he, had, he had a step on him. He had certainly the jump on him there, but the, knock, uh, the hit knocked it out. Uh, just a, a little bread and butter play up the middle there. Fourth and seven certainly doesn't convert, but it looks like he's bringing out the field goal uh, squad here to add another three to his lead coming down to the two-minute warning. He's going to let that clock roll all the way to the two-minute warning for a free timeout. Let's check on, uh, let me see here, if anybody has advanced in our other brackets yet. Let me refresh our bracket here. Uh, it looks like Strafen has gone to down to BG Fam, 33-14. to 14. Wow. That's, a, uh, wow. that's an upset victory. Strafen, of course, a two-time Friday Night Football champion. Two-time Viking Club champion as well, Zan. Very decorated player. The resume speaks for itself, but it will be BG Fam moving on to the second round. Yeah, he uh, you know he lost to the last game of the club championship to the uh, to Pavan on ESPN News. So he he certainly knows how to compete at the highest level. Just looks like he got outplayed in the first uh, bracket tonight in the first level of the bracket. For those wanting to know what Michael Skimbo is up to, he was in a close ball game against Vilma, but he just intercepted a pick six with Von Bell. That's going to put him up eleven with two sixteen to go on that one. Zan just red zoning over here, bro. I'm so proud of you. He's got like three or four games up over here. He's got it's about five different TVs. He's surrounded by. No, I'm lying. He's just I even have the Chicago well, Cubs man. up as well. <laughs> People Homer. think I'm kidding. Homer. <laughs> Big, uh, big pass right there to Randy Moss. Skin's got to get going. Three timeouts left. He's got to score right here and save all three of those timeouts. Yeah, that Lamar, he got bailed out there. Lamar Jackson able to make a good throw after scrambling back about 20 yards. Receiver coming back about 10 yards. He's able to get that reception for the first down. Uh, let's see here. He's running rapidly out of time. He's got to make some big moves and score a couple times to even have a chance here. And then that serious Mo game, he is just now punching in a touchdown. The extra point will put him down by six. Early in the fourth quarter, he's going up against TNC Justin, formerly known as Dad Yogurt Lurk, uh, who is a player that is a very, very is solid player. Is that the best player. name in the tournament tonight? King Daddy, what is it, King Yogurt Lurk? Is that the best, like, username in the tournament tonight? Uh, it's, it, we've had a lot of comments about the DYL name. <laughs> I, I've always just referred to him as DYL. So, I love uh, it, man. Too good. But that's a very tight ball game as well. We'll be jumping around our first round bracket here as soon as this game is over. Right now it is Skins trying to get back into this one and Ish trying to ice this ball game away. 
Uh, guys, I see a lot of people entering the chat here asking who the ultimate legends are for tomorrow. Uh, at the top of the hour revealed that none other than Howie Long and Barry Sanders coming to Madden Ultimate Team tomorrow at around 10.30 a.m. Like I always said, though, on Madden Daily Drops, wait for EA Sports underscore Mutt to tweet out that they're live before you dive in there. Also, the MDD guys, I'm sure, will have uh, the limited reveal for you early tomorrow morning. Be sure to turn on those notifications for EA Sports underscore Mutt. Play clock down to four. He better get the snap off. Here it is. Play action fake for Lamar. Yo, Wood Hero, thank you for that sub. He sends a message. Love you, Guru. Love you too, man. Thank you. Definitely appreciate your support. This Kenny Galladay. He needs to get going right here, though. I think uh, right here from here on out, no huddle. Save those timeouts. We talked about how important it was last night. Situation in the community championship. Actually, a player used a timeout they shouldn't have used and ended up costing them the game after they fumbled the ball. Yeah, absolutely. We called that out before it happened here, but it's, uh, it's it seems like this game is just getting further and further out of reach here. I think we can call GG's in the chat for this one. Clock is ticking. 39 seconds left. 31-17. Uh, to 17. Without some uh, pretty fluky stuff here, this game is in the history books. Bunch weak formation here for Skins. Chat's calling for a Peterman power-up or they're going to riot. I've said this before on the on the uh, the stream. I don't know if I told you this before though. Did you know if Peterman would have just thrown an incomplete pass on every single pass attempt, his quarterback rating would be would higher, than, higher? It is, than it is right now? Now that takes some effort to get a QBR that bad. Yeah, I mean you got to throw it to the other team on purpose almost. I mean that takes some coaching. He's got to be coached to even have that. That's amazing. Shout out to Buffalo K. I know that he loves uh, Peterman. <laughs> hey, we got skins out here getting uh, another touchdown before we call this one quits. That's just you know that's just a moral moral support. A little uh, you know a little soul touchdown though, so you can get out of here and have some sleep tonight. Got the um, onside kick coming out here. I haven't seen too many onside recoveries in Madden 19 though. To be honest with you, I've had one all year, and it's not going to be one here. He does have the three timeouts, but I mean. At this point, you're just praying that you can get the three three and out 